In this demo, I'm going to use the Azure AD application and .NET console application that I previously created and modify them to demonstrate using the Delta Query feature of Microsoft Graph. Applications can leverage the Delta Query feature to avoid costly requests to poll for changes in Microsoft Graph because that can trigger requests to be throttled. So this is a technique to avoid from uh, being throttled. Again, this demo is going to expect or assume that I've already created the .NET application and the Azure AD application um, that I've previously shown in other demos in this module. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start by going over to Azure AD and I need to add a new permission uh, for my app. So here we're inside of our app and on the API permissions, I'm going to add a permission for Microsoft Graph, a delegated permission, and I'm looking for the permission user.read.all. I'll add that permission and then select add permissions. And then just like I have in the past, I'm going to select grant admin consent for Contoso. Now let's go back over to our app and a couple things we're going to need to do. So first I'm going to go down to the part where we're getting the permissions and I'm going to update this to say user.read.all. This is where we are uh, giving a list of all the scopes that we want our app to return as part of the um, request for an access token. Now let's update the console application to retrieve and display all the users in the tenant with Microsoft Graph. And then after we display the list of users, the app is going to go to sleep for 10 seconds and repeat the exact same query, but instead it'll only show the users who have been added or updated. So the first thing I'm going to do is add two new members to my class. So if I scroll up right before my main method in the program, I'm going to add in two, prop two methods right here, two members, a Delta link and a previous page. Then I'm going to add a new method that we're going to use to write all the users in the cons uh, to the console. So let me just hide the main for a second and I'll add in this method right here. So this is going to output all the users that we retrieved. I'm then going to add another method that is going to retrieve all the users. This is going to use the Delta link uh, query feature in Microsoft Graph. If this is the first time the request is made, as indicated by the previous page equaling null, then you're going to request all the users, but also request a Delta link using the Delta method that you see here. This code is going to return the current page of users. Otherwise, if there are more pages of users, it will start a request for the next page using the Delta link string that I obtained previously. Now I'm going to add yet another method to check to see for new and changed users. So I'll paste that in right here. The first time that this one runs, it's going to get all the users and display them uh, page by page until it reaches the very last page of the response from Microsoft Graph. The last thing that this method needs to do is to retrieve the Delta link from the last page of results. The Delta link, a string, will be used in future requests that will signal to Microsoft Graph to only return users who have been added or changed since the previous request. So I'm going to add this to the very end of this method. Now, let's update our application to use our new check for updates method. So what I'm going to do is go back to our main method that we have currently collapsed. And what I want to do is I want to delete everything that's in here uh, that, we were, that we have from our previous demo. So I'm going to delete all of this code. Now that I've deleted all of that, the next thing we're going to do is let's add in our, some code back that's going to use our new methods. What this does is this is going to use our check for updates uh, method to get a list of all the users and then go into an infinite loop sleeping for 10 seconds and then issue the exact same request again and again. So here we're going to do it. We're going to issue it once and then we're going to go to sleep for 10 seconds and then we're going to do it again and again and again until our app is actually closed. The first request will result in the application obtaining the Delta link that is used in future requests to include only the new and changed users. Each time users are requested, the Delta link is going to be refreshed. So let's test it. So what I'm going to do is do the exact same request, .NET build and .NET run. So let's go ahead and log in. I'll paste in the current user's name and do the same thing with their password. So now it's getting all the users and displaying all the users in the tenant. If I let the app run for a few moments without doing anything, notice that it keeps making requests for all of our for all the users, but it's not displaying anybody because no users have been created in the tenant. It does this every 10 seconds. So we see we've it's done it once, and here it's done it a second time 
waiting for another 10 seconds. All right, so let's go make a change to one of our users. So what I'm gonna do is in the browser, I'm gonna jump over to one of our users. So let's go over here to our users. So let's create a brand new user. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select new user and the user's name will be Jane Doe. So we'll give them a name, Jane Doe, Jane Doe. And then I'm gonna go select create to create our new user. Now let's go back to our app and let's see if it picks up the last person that was created. So we can see it just finished a request a moment ago and we can see that it actually found Jane Doe. So you see Jane Doe showing up right here. I can do the same thing for an update if I wanted to. I'm gonna stop the application by hitting Control C to terminate the request. So in this demo, what you saw is using an Azure AD app and a .NET console app that I previously created and modified to demonstrate using the Delta Query feature of Microsoft Graph. An application can leverage the Delta Query feature to avoid costly requests to poll for changes in Microsoft Graph that can trigger requests to be throttled. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something. Now remember that this video is part of a series of videos on this Microsoft Learning module. This video is also part of a playlist that includes all the videos that are associated with this module so that you can watch them in order. The playlist and all its included videos are associated with a Microsoft Learning module that includes hands-on lab exercises and additional resources. Check the notes for this video and the associated playlist for more information and where to find the Microsoft Learning module.